Use this money route to expose the zones and take the top off the defense. Coming up next. Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that gives you full games of all the tips and schemes that post my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Alright, so guys, you knew my channel. Make sure you subscribe button, also that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. So guys, I want to talk about um, um, an offensive uh, play that um, I, I kind of stumbled on uh, in the playbook, uh, and uh, it is um, uh, fairly effective uh, with stretching the ball deep and giving you an opportunity to go ahead and get uh, basically a great play down in the middle of the field. Now, the play is is actually going to be uh, this play right here under the Titans, or it's actually Eagles that I'm in the playbook. It's it's the single back wide, tight wide off, and the play itself is a play action deep cross. Now there's other variations of this particular play, but this is the play that I'm looking at. I want to show this to you. You can also find this obviously um, in uh, the Eagles playbook uh, right here. The Chiefs, the Packers, the Lions. Uh, the name of few. So there's a few different player uh, uh, playbooks that you can find this in. So the Packers, Lions, Chiefs, Eagles, um, Titans are, are the, where you can find this play at. So let me go ahead and show you this play, why it's a great play, and why you need to put it into your scheme. And once again, it's single back, tight, Y off. And the play we're going to be looking at right here is the play action deep cross. Now I'm, just a t I'm going to take a look at just random cover three or uh, random 34 defense is very common online. Um, and I want to show you on how the route for Jackson, who should, should most likely be your best wide receiver, fa your fastest wide receiver, is going to be where you're going to get the separation. Now, what I like to do with this particular play is I like to go ahead and um, basically block all, block my, my tight end. I'm also going to block my running back manually uh, to go and give myself a max protect. So I'm going to have six people protecting for me. I've got an edge protector off, off to the right. I've got a running back in the backfield off to the left. So if he does send, if my opponent plays uh, any kind of heavy, pro, uh, any heavy pressure against me, um, I'm going to go ahead and have uh, basically protection. Now the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hot route uh, my uh, wide receiver Aguilar and I can actually go ahead and put him on a slant route I can put him in an in route I can put him on an out route I can put him on a whip route I can put him on a uh, on a little hitch route that's your option that's what you want to do against your opponent and it really depends on what your opponent's going to do now the key to this particular play is the following route this route right here by Jackson this route is pretty much uncoverable. You have to take it away manually. Uh, you, you, a person's going to have to use that route because that route is always going to get separation. And it's going to get past the zones. So, um, what's cool about this particular play is that it's going to allow you to go ahead and first and foremost have a lot of time. And then secondly, it's going to allow you to go ahead and get an easy completion uh, over the middle of the field. So let's go ahead and take a look at this and how this basically demolishes basically every kind of zone in the game. Uh, and this is what you do is to build the entire scheme around a play like this and have this in your arsenal to be able to attack your opponent deep. So I'm going to go against one of the hardest blitzes in the game. Um, let's go ahead and max protect, give myself some plenty of time, and I'm going to go ahead and take Aguilar and put him on a little hitch route. And I want to, I want to show you on how this route gets really good separation uh, against your opponent if he tries to run a lot of heavy man blitzes against you. Now the dilemma is that if uh, if your opponent is using a lot of heavy man blitzes, well, all you have to do is just slant up the inside receiver. He should get good position against that uh, against that that the, the, that defender that's supposed to cover Aguilar. So now you've got a slant position that you can actually go and attack against somebody that does a lot of heavy man blitzes. What about cover two? Uh, well, once again, we're going to go ahead and block. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put uh, Aguilar uh, and put him on uh, a little hitch route. But watch what happens with the cover two. This guy gets wide open against cover two shells. They just don't cover correctly, so you can get an easy completion once again with that route. Now, what's cool about the hitch route is that you can actually turn that into kind of an option route to go and attack your opponent underneath. So if he starts using a guy, you can go ahead and motion that guy over. So he's got to defend that deep route, uh, and a, the, the, a basic cover two shell is not going to do that. Uh, what about cover three? Well, uh, pretty much the same type of situation. Cover three coverage, the route will get past that coverage and you're going to get a nice little passing lane where you can pick up any big yardage against them. And if you go ahead and take a crossing run on the back end side, that's going to force him to go ahead and choose his poison on what he wants to do. And what if he's got basically a cover four type shell? So I'm going to go ahead and slant up Aguilar on the back end side, but watch what happens with cover four. 
basically you still have a little passing lane that you can actually get this off. So uh, he's going to have to use her that route. And then then what happens is now uh, with with any defense he uses, now you've got your wild card. You can go ahead and take Aguilar, put him on a slant route, uh, and that's going to be something you can do. You can leave the animation on the back end side with the, with the running back route to be able to dump that down. You can take Aguilar, put him on um, a, a little out route. And that's going to force your opponent to go ahead and defend that. So uh, that's going to be your option route and however you want to play it. But uh, it's all about opening up um, that that route up, uh, up top by Jackson. Uh, the lid gets taken off by the post. And then you've got this passing lane that you can attack. And it's going across the field. So you can roll across the field and actually hit that passing lane. So guys, this is, a, this is a basically a formation I jumped into. And I think I'm going to build an entire scheme out for my patrons with this because I've already got some gameplay and I had some pretty good success with it. Um, so this is just something you can throw into your scheme. If you have access to those books, go ahead and take a look at it. So once again, my subscribers, if you do like these type of tips, make sure you smash that like button and I'll be rolling out more offensive and defensive tips to take your game to the next level. Until next time.